appreciate the, uh, the, the real serious participation from all of you folks. Uh, next up, we are going to, uh, to welcome, uh, let me see, I need Kyle Bennett, my apologies. Kyle Bennett, Editor-in-Chief from Hard OCP. Will you join me on stage, please, Kyle? It's a pleasure to see you. I apologize for uh, getting lost on the, uh, the schedule there, but uh, it's always good to see you. How are you these days? Oh, before you say anything, I should, uh, should warn the audience. Kyle has a, a tendency sometimes to use <laughs> interesting words. So this, this part is uh, PG-13. <laughs> that means that if you're on the live stream and you're uh, of a nervous disposition or under 13, please put your fingers in your ears, and I'll try and remind you when it's going to be safe to listen again. That's bullshit. Oh, good. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. He promised he wouldn't say it, but he did, he did. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Kyle, how are you Congrats these days? on 30. Thank you so much. Yeah. AMD has been a part of my life now for 17, 18 years, so it's, it's a good thing to see y'all still around, right? Yep, it's, uh, it's a very good thing for us to, uh, to be around here as well. Um, you've, been, uh, you've been in this, this business for a little while now, like you say. Um, what's, the, what's the favorite piece of tech that AMD has uh, ever been able to push your way? You know, I hate to be uh, the glom on with everybody else, but it's got to be the 9700, right? I mean... It right just guys? changed the world, yeah. yeah. Really, really impressive. I mean, you know, and where's, uh, where's Macri at? Joe Macri, raise your hand. That man right there was highly responsible for that, for that card, so he's one of the guys that really changed the world. <laughs> and I think we'd all... Imagine how funny looking he would be wet. I think you should vote for Joe. Uh, you're right, actually. The comedy value of a guy absolutely. with normally dry, springy hair. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so um, why don't you tell us what you're doing at uh, Hard OCP at the moment? One, uh. of the, one of the things that is most obvious to me from the outside, you guys do experiential benchmarking. Right, what right. What is that? Um, so actually, uh, this, this idea kind of came around to us when we were coming back from Toronto back in early 2000. Brent Justice and I, he's our managing mm -hmm. GPU editor. And uh, we had to do a, um, we we're doing, we we're leaving Toronto, and we were doing a TV show out, uh, out in uh, Hollywood, uh, the Screensavers, you guys remember that? Yeah, yeah Screensavers is cool, wasn't it? Yeah. But so anyway, we were going out there, and one of the questions that somebody asked was, how was your gaming experience on this GPU you guys just uh, reviewed? And it was really odd because we'd never played a game on it, yet we had reviewed the video card, but we had never played a game on it. And so you'd, you'd run synthetic benchmarks exactly. or, or age-old games. Exactly, know, the, yeah. the, the frame rate wars, and you know, that's what was best. And then we started to realize that the, it wasn't all about frame rates, it was about the end user experience and their gaming experience and how immersive that was and, mm -hmm. and what that could actually bring to them. So we, we changed the way we do things totally, and, uh, and now we play games and review video cards. So we can, we can relate that experience back to the end users and what they need to get to proper levels of gaming, depending on the resolutions and things that you use. So you actually go through huge numbers of permutations of settings to figure out what the best experience is you can get from a particular card at the target frame rate you're after, yeah? Exactly. Well, we don't necessarily target frame rate. You know, we look at a, you know, we look at a range there, frame rates. What we really target is immersion in the gaming experience. To where, you're, to where you're actually playing the game and that, you know, they're in uh, their jerky animations or you're losing frames or that, that actually break that immersion experience. So when you're in there gaming, you wanna, that's what you want to keep feeling. You don't want to all of a sudden be thinking about, you know, how bad your gaming experience sucks, right? Yeah, you, you do not. You <laughs> yeah, do not. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, wouldn't want to turn this into an AMD commercial, but if you were just to look at the hard OCP recommendations at the moment, where would you be on, on GPUs? What's a, what's a great choice? We're pretty, we're pretty high on the Radeon R9 290X right now. It's a, it's a really great card. We're seeing uh, really great things out of it in some of the latest AAA titles. Mm -hmm. um, you know we're fans of Crossfire. We're fans of Ifinity. Yep. So it kind of takes a little more than, usually more than one. <laughs> you know, so uh, we're, we're still big fans. And, AMD's done a really good job, you know, the, the frame pacing thing came mm -hmm. up uh, a couple years ago. This, and that's, this was a really yeah, big, big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And you know, so one of your competitors had built a tool based on actually a bunch of our research through our experiential gaming. Mm -hmm. And we were seeing the stuttering and the different things that were even happening 
at, at high frame rate levels that were breaking immersion in, in, the, in the game, right? And so these and, two... And the experience we were giving was simply not as good as it should have been. Yeah? No, it, it simply was not. Okay. And when you, if you looked at SLI compared to Crossfire back then, it just, it, they, Crossfire just did not stand up. Okay. And so, you know, there were a lot of people that brought that to AMD's attention, mm -hmm. you know, and quite frankly, y'all fix that. Okay. And what's interesting now is we are actually seeing better Crossfire smoothness and frame pacing with AMD than we are with SLI. So, so, so the best dual GPU experience is AMD. <laughs> All right, now that's, that's a really big deal. It's a yeah. big deal. It's a, it's, a, it's a big deal from several perspectives. Really importantly, you guys are keeping us honest, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It does that's, make a yeah, difference we, to what we do, and that's yeah, we, very important yeah, in this we, world, yeah. We, we try to keep y'all's feet to the fire as much as possible. Okay, excellent. Well, we like warm feet. We like warm feet, and Joe Macri likes cold feet, I have to say. <coughs> so, so what do you have in your own domestic gaming rig? What are you, uh, uh, you built into that right now? My rig's got Crossfire in it, R9-290X. I, uh, I actually upgraded from Titans. <laughs> so, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, Carl... Carl, you're, you're a guy who's in the lucky position that pretty much you can ignore price because people simply send hardware to you. Exactly. And you've taken yeah. two, two 90Xs and Crossfire, and that is the way you build it, yeah? yeah? that's what I like, yeah. You yeah. look at things like um, Airflow in the case, so you chose not to go I'm for a, two 95Xs. No, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, come on. It's hard OCP is, uh, you know, overclockers comparison page, you know, or, yep. or oatmeal cream pie. Either, either way, <laughs> we, we'll take it either way we can get it. But uh, so, yeah, you know, Airflow and, and these GPUs are hot, okay? They just simply are. And the, and the coolant solutions that we've seen come to them in, in recent years have been phenomenal. But still, you, you still need airflow through the case and those kind of things. And if, if anybody pays attention to that, you can, you can you know, and it's fun too, right? You get to build a rig and make sure it flows right and <coughs> make it happen. Yeah, so. I think the, uh, the, the geek inside of all of us loves to do that, that yeah. playing with yeah. hardware and make it, make it do really wonderful things. So um, who else here, who's interested in 4K gaming? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, you know, 4K game, it's, it's really coming in, into its own right now, you know, right? I mean, we're starting to see more monitors and those things come out. And this is another reason, I wanted to bring this up with you guys. And this is another reason we went to Crossfire. I went to Crossfire on my personal rig because I hope to be upgrading to a 4K screen there. Hopefully soon. You I'm need still, a lot of horsepower I'm, for that. Yeah, you, need, you, yeah. De you definitely need two cards, right? But we're seeing so much better uh, game experience, and it's, this all goes back to game experience, right? Don't want to lose my immersion. I want to be in the moment. We're seeing a lot better uh, results with Crossfire than we are with SLI and actual 4K gaming. So it's, it's, it's looking good for you guys. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so one last thing I wanted to, uh, to dig into on, on the gaming experience side. You guys recently posted um, a kind of uh, uh, Watch Dogs Revisited where you took a look at yeah. uh, a game which is not out of the AMD Gaming Evolve program. How did that pan out? Where, where, where's well, the conclusion? So, where did you land? So that's a GameWorks game, which is, is by your, your competition there that's had a heavy hand in that. And uh, it's, it's really interesting that uh, at the end of the day, uh, you, guys were doing, <laughs> you guys were doing better than your competition at their own game. So <laughs> it's, it's, I know, I know, you know. I know there was a, there was a there was a lot of internet a lot of internet talk and chatter about it being GameWorks and and how AMD was getting screwed and you know and they, 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 blah 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 but it comes out at the end of the day that <laughs> AMD was getting what no 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 don't worry about it <laughs> it turns out at the end of the day that that actually it runs better on uh, Radeon than it does on the other guys. <laughs> Well, that, that's, uh, that's certainly the message that, uh, that we would like to see. And, you know, you, you did this research before we talked about inviting you on the show. It's, uh, it's objective. You guys are, are completely external, although you're... I was, I was just coming to Austin to get a beer, and you have to stop by. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, uh, we can feed you a beer from the, uh, the kegivator or whatever it's called these days. Awesome stuff. Kyle, awesome. really appreciate you joining Thank you, us. Richard. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs>